How many of you would make an important life-changing decision without A, complete understanding of your choice, and B, being fully committed to that decision? Well, of course not, right? Then I ask you, why do we ignore so many good decision-making skills when we start our path in life? Why does society forces us to make, why does society force us to go straight from high school to college, pick a major, then a career field, all by the age of 20? I mean, what does a 20-year-old know about their potential career for the next 40 years besides from a textbook or a 90-minute lecture? Until we're 18, we live life under somebody else's roof and rules. The lens to which we see the world has been shaped by the people that faced us. And sadly, most of us haven't been allowed to see the world for ourselves for the first time. However, by age 20, after just two years of adulthood, most of us are forced to make a high-stakes decision that will affect us in some shape or form for the next 40 years. This decision is usually in the form of a paper with a list of possible career fields. Most of us will simply look at this paper, go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and pick a career field that we know almost nothing about just because we want to graduate in time. You see, the problem is, society is forcing us to make decisions about life before we're even allowed to live. In a recent survey, around half of college freshmen still haven't decided on their majors yet. Another survey revealed that 50% to 70% of students change major at least once over a four-year period, and that in the end, most people will actually change major three times before they graduate. A wise man once said, picking a college major is probably the worst blind date you could ever go to. <laughs> and that is why I'm here to advocate for a gap year type mentality, whereby every single student straight out of high school is expected to take a time off to discover his or her passion, thus preventing indecisiveness. You can do a lot in your gap year. You can volunteer for Habitat for Humanity, you can spend your, your semester at sea, or back up across Europe, or even enlist in the military. If you think I'm crazy, well, let's, let's just say that Harvard is on board with my idea. If you look up in Google, Harvard Admission Gap Year, you'll find this article by them called, Should I Take a Time Off? And long story short, yes, they actually recommend that you do take a gap year. Since its birth 40 years ago, the gap year has gone from a rare occurrence to an everyday choice for university students. It used to be exclusive to students in the UK, but in recent years, the trend has caught up to the US and is slowly making its way throughout the world. I believe that every single student would benefit from a gap year, because by doing so, we are essentially giving ourselves time to step back, think, and discover what's our passion, or determine what isn't. And if you think about it, isn't that what life is all about? Discovering your passion? Now, Dulet did a survey recently on employee passion. And they found out that four out of five people do not have passion for what they do. That's 80% of people spending more than 2,000 hours a year doing something they have no passion for. No wonder we see the midlife crisis. No wonder we see affairs. <laughs> people are searching for passion, and when, they, and when they don't find it in their work, they search elsewhere. You see, if people have actually taken their time to discover their passion, none of this would happen. In fact, students who've completed gap year are as much as 75% more likely to feel happy or extremely satisfied with their career post-university. Also, if I might add, as much as 60% of students said that their gap year actually helped them decide what course to take later on in university. The gap year is also a great way for you to rejuvenate yourself 
especially since you guys were studying nonstop since preschool. I mean, think about it. Wouldn't it be nice for you to take a year off, especially after two years of the IB? <laughs> now, I know that some of you might think that by taking a time off that you might forget or lose some valuable skills that you're taught in school and that you are perceived as lazy by colleges. You might also think that by taking a time off that it would actually hurt your grade later on in college. But in fact, it's the complete opposite. Colleges see gap year students as more mature and are seen as an asset for their campuses. As much as 66% of students took their academic work more seriously after taking their gap year. And as for grades, well, Skidmore College reported that their gap year freshmen produced GPAs several percentages higher than their peers who did not. The gap year is also a great way for you to regain skills that might prove, that might prove useful for in the future. If you did something productive in your gap year, you can put in your resume, create a stronger portfolio, and eventually be accepted to a more ideal college and eventually a good job. 80% of gap year students said that it actually helped them with their employability. And by taking a gap year, it would make it easier for you to transition from college to the working world. So in the end, the big message I want all of you to take home today is that just because a system has already <coughs> been established and everyone is following that system, doesn't mean that you have to follow them. I know it might sound cheesy, but sometimes the road not taken is probably the best road for you. That is why I think taking a gap year is probably the best decision that you can ever make.